no matter what artwork you do, you're still, there's something about you that's inside of that artwork. It's something coming to the surface. 10 years ago, I did this art show. And one of the pieces that I did was this chimpanzee. And he was flipping the bird and pointing a gun and he was just like, you know, pissed off little chimpanzee. That was the only piece I sold at that show. I was like, huh, I, think I'm, I think I might be onto something. It was just the most natural thing for me to draw. It was this chimp, Dutch, kind of became this alter ego. I do things with Dutch that I can't do or I'd be arrested for doing in real life. I don't draw a Curious George. I draw like a disgruntled chimp that drinks whiskey and hangs out at a bar and doesn't talk to anyone. But he's actually also my comedian. People look at it and they're like, oh, he's got a chainsaw, he's mad. They see it for face value and they don't realize like there's actually a lot of humor in it. Really, it's just knowing how to use and abuse your tools. I use certain pens that you, you tweak them a certain way and they give like a really nice chunky line. My average ink drawing might have seven, eight pens and brushes in it. I try and capture that one moment, like that one apex of just sums up the moment. The image that I put on the cover was actually a piece that was a uh, kind of dear to my heart. I got a call from my mom. She told me that she was had breast cancer and the cancer essentially spread to her brain. Oh, crap. I was just like, I should just draw this moment. And I drew Dutch. There was just something so honest and heavy about that piece. One of the things I love about that book that I did with Blurb, you just see every facet of Dutch, and you see it in different forms, be it a magazine cover, comics, drawings, toys, whatever. And it just really, it becomes this beautiful portfolio. Apes, they share 99% of our you know, DNA. It's been the source of everything for me. I draw that chimp, just balls out, just going for it. I don't care if you're offended, I don't care if you love it, I just want you to feel something. I want reaction.